Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success demonstration of the order to cash process. In this demonstration, we will see the seamless creation of an invoice from a sales order through item fulfillment and then customer payment. This is a purpose-built dashboard created specifically for a sales role. It contains reminders, shortcuts and key metrics necessary for me to perform my job. From my home dashboard, I will navigate to the sales order transaction form. Here, I will select my customer and choose the items being purchased using the drop-down menu on the item line of the sales order. Then I can select the various items to be purchased. In this example, I'll select an iPad Pro. Notice that the description and rates are all populated with the item details created on the item record. NetSuite also supports customer-specific pricing and group price levels. With the items entered, we'll move to the Billing sub-tab. You can see that the payment terms and billing address are pre-populated using data from the customer record. NetSuite also supports multiple shipping and billing addresses and will retain the historical addresses from the sales order and invoice transactions. I will now save this sales order. With the sales order entry complete, I'll move to the inventory role where I can now fulfill the items on the sales order. By using the search bar, I'm able to navigate directly to the sales order that was just created or leverage my reminders portlet. For demonstration purposes, I will go directly into the sales order we generated and will find the button fulfill and be taken directly to the fulfillment record for this transaction. Depending on my preferences, I can have an automatic email notification sent out to my customer indicating that this sales order has been fulfilled. Now that the sales order has been fulfilled, I am ready to invoice this customer. I will switch roles to finance so I can invoice the transaction. Notice as I navigate into the sales order that the buttons have changed and I can now invoice the customer. You have the option to email the invoice, mail it, accept a payment right away, or even create a credit memo, dependent on what your business requirements and processes are. Let's return to the sales order, and we'll see it's been invoiced and is now showing as billed. On the related record sub-tab, you have full visibility into the fulfillment and invoicing associated with this sales order transaction. Now. Let's move to the final and arguably the most important step in the process, receiving a payment. Payments can be made directly here from the customer record. Once I type in the amount of the payment, it can be either auto-applied to the oldest invoice or individually selected, and any necessary discounts can be taken at the line level and posted to the defined GL account of your choosing. Now going back to my sales order, and the related record sub-tab, we can see that the invoice is now marked paid in full. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.